Charlotte, the first thing I wanted to ask you um, was about the phrase music creator. So when I read your bio, I didn't see the word um, composer anywhere. But what do you think about those two uh, phrases, composer versus music creator? Composition for me is not a strict, a strict act, act of right of writing down it's not a strict act of soft software it's not like a strict act that only that only humans can do and it's just limited to and instead i feel like my music especially with my piece about bugs is derived from the from the music of the outside world and how we choose to inter sure. interpret that as composition, really. Do you feel like living um, in a city makes your music sound um, different than if maybe you were upstate or, or somewhere more rural? When I was upstate, I didn't really formally start com composition. I only formally started it last year, so I don't know for sure, but there is definitely this idea of this unique sense of chaos. And there is definitely an idea of this unique sense of the tipping point of a lot of different factors. You know, it's very polluted. It's, sure. it's very, there's, there's a lot happening and a lot of people are very dense. So it's sort right. of sort of crowded. Yeah. So I don't know whether that would actually make that actually makes my music feel more crowded than it actually is. But it's also good to find silence when you're living in a crowded place too. So I don't know. What would you say um, to people who, can't quite understand what you're talking about as far as the composition of music not being this strict thing, but you know, just the way things you know happen for, for lack of a better phrase. Well, what, what do you say to the people that can't really wrap their minds around that uh, being tied to you know composition, this thing that we usually think of as being pretty formal? Yes, composition is writing stuff down, putting stuff on paper making of making a very formal score that that you can print out and hand to musicians but it has to have a purpose other than that and i would say that a larger purpose i really like the way you put it about the the way things happen and you sort of see what you want to hear and the beauty in all of these different forms of music that you sort of see out see outside and making something fresh from that is really why we put notes on paper, why we want people to remember our making of music. You know, so with that, I'm also thinking about the title of your string quartet, Disequilibrium. I mean, what, what are some of the um, conversations that you have with yourself or with your music as it applies to the sort of randomness of today and the so-called randomness of your music? Frankly, my piece now needs to be updated to, re to reflect a sort of new sense of unrest and dis disequilibrium. When I talk about disequilibrium between, you know, animals or bugs in the environment and humans, and humans sort of throwing that off. And when I think about disequilibrium, I think of all of all of these things that are going that are going on today and how humans have sort of impacted this great disequilibrium of the ecosystem. And and then you think about how a pandemic has sort of impacted the ecosystem in that way and it's really nest and it's really I feel like my piece definitely took on a, a new light now. Is there anything um, that you would like um, you know your your fellow uh, composers to to understand any words of advice to kids who are interested in, in composition? 
I think that it's more important to discover how to find your own intentions. And when you're going through music, through music, like the mentors were in a workshop sort of making this analogy of somebody pulling a rope out of a hole and you're sort of dis- discovering not really the rope, but sort of what's on the other side of that, that hole in in the wall. And I think that Joe was telling me a lot about how music is sort of connected to a very deep part of your soul where you want to have a ritual and where you want to sort of connect very powerfully to your own intuition and to other people's intuitions about music. And it's a, and I think he was saying about it being a language to express the beauty that we really hear and see in our everyday lives. And how do we want to see that? And a lot of the time we're put in very controlled environments and increasingly with the internet and social media, and especially during this pandemic, there's sort of this disconnect. But if we think about what we want to hear and what we want to see for ourselves and how we want to guide our own interpretation of what we hear and what other people hear, then that's where we really start start creating. And it's not necessarily control that inspires that. 